What's up guys, it's Slamma3 here, bring you another CSGO video, and today I have finished my exams, yeah, yeah, alright, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a CSGO hide and seek map of your very own, and in addition, I was going to say something, oh yeah, we have been gaining subscribers even though I have not posted in two weeks we are somehow gaining subscribers thank you guys for all of all of you have subscribed thank you so much and uh, yeah we're about to hit 1000 subscribers so yeah it's pretty it's pretty hype but uh, this is a, a little bit of a test map to show you guys some of the, the basic things of uh, some hide and seek maps and some maps in general. And then we're going to, you know, go through in the SDK and I'll show you guys how to do everything. So as you can see, we got some nice flowing water here, but it's not actually flowing. It's pretty static. And then, you know, we got windows up there and we jump down. We got graffiti on the walls. These are decals. NIP 2014 that was the dream let's go um, we got a nice prop here this is a uh, plant pot I can't jump on top of it that's anticlimactic come on all right anyways we have stairs here stairs are important because inclines yo and uh, yeah look it's so bumpy ah oh, it's so bumpy Oh, that's so nice. Gotta clip those stairs, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Okay, so over here we have a very nice elevator. And uh, we got a light, which is known as a prop. And then we got a light beneath that light, which is the actual light that's illuminating the area. In addition to that, oh look, we have a ladder here. How nice. You can get back up, courtesy of ladder. You know? Alright. So let's take this elevator. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, oh look at that. Okay, as I was saying, there was there's a light environment, which is the sunlight, which is over there, which, which, which I'll show you in the SDK, because you can't see it right now. Okay, at the top here, we have another button that brings us back down from the elevator. Nice. And, uh, oh, look at this, a cylinder. Are those, whoa. Look at that. Look at that. How festive. Yep, you just saw it. Okay. Click this lift and you come down here. How nice. Alright. You get down here. And look at that. A weird creepy face that is caused by an unknown glitch. You can turn it off and get this other weird guy. And you can turn him back on. And off. And on. And off. Yeah! Alright. Nice. Okay. Cylinder. Let's go inside. Hello. Whoa. Over here. Alright, that was a teleport secret if you didn't happen to notice. But we're in here now. Oh, look, a vending machine. Alright. This is our secret box. This is all the typical secrets surrounded by your very own happy little host. Bad boy. Alright, just go through this wall. This is what is known as a phase wall secret. I just made that right now not the actual face like you face through the wall okay we're done boom breakable wall secret and we have a interactable drop down wall secret and we're floating on up okay look at this a vending machine but you can go through it this is your typical cover it up with a prop and turn off collision this is also used a lot when you like screw up and in the and like you're making your level you know like oh, that doesn't look very nice hey look at that's a nice prop let's just cover it up okay um another thing boom not boom let's try it again boom we got a uh one unit uh ledge right here that's invisible let's take it up a notch we got another ledge up here yeah, you can walk up here, 
and wait for oh yeah now we're back on so as you guys can see we have a couple of things here we got water we got decals we got props we got stairs we got clipping we got elevators we got lifts we got ladders we got more props we got lights we got buttons we got other buttons we got another prop lights we got cylinders we got teleports we got amazing textures and we got secrets so all this put together and you will create your very own seek map oh also windows so uh, now that you've seen some examples let's go take a look at how you would actually go about creating this in the CSGO SDK Hammer World Editor. See you there. Okay, we are now in the SDK realm and let's go through how to do, how to create these secrets that are pretty basic and I'm gonna assume that you know how to like use basic controls of hammer and block out your level that sort of thing and at this stage I don't know you haven't learned some things but you would need to learn how to do secrets for sure alright so going from the start we have our our dudes our terrorist spawn this is a light, very basic, 200 full white, I didn't change anything. Alright, I'm assuming you know how to do lights for the most part. Um, yeah, this is a buy zone, just draw out your rectangle, draw out your brush, funk detail, then funk buy zone. Easy. Windows, it's just a, a same block, but you without that glass texture instead of your whatever texture and then that's now glass same thing for water it's actually super simple whoa uh, it's actually super simple it can actually go by slightly different rules because it can um, go through blocks and that's like fine uh, so yeah it's, it's literally just a rectangle and you instead of whipping out those glass textures you just whip out that water texture so a lot easier than it may seem okay um decals i was like how do you do decals this is weird but it's super simple you just pick out your favorite decal decal there we go scroll down to about i think it's right up here there we go all right just get your decal this tool with the target on it just get it and then just you know put it where you want just all over here and then make sure it's it's well covered that's important and uh, make sure it's um, really detailed so when you have it where you like it that's literally all you're just one click and you're done so that's pretty easy but what if that's not doing it for you you know you need something a little bit more then you click on this tool down here I don't know the official name but you click on the wall get that selector tool and now you can enlarge at free will a large away please there we go oh yeah much better if you know what I mean oh look at that much better much better so that's decals for you pretty easy props we know how to do from chickens and lambs hopefully okay clipping stairs this is important guys I don't know why I've played on a number of seek maps without stairs properly clipped it's so easy it's literally you just you draw a block right I'll do it right now you draw a block and then you cut it like here we go are we on 16 can we mid downsize no we can't so we get there get there get that clipping out then make sure we 
have it where we want it like right there right there boom and uh, cut it easy just down right there we want the other side and you can clip this to cut that boom you're clipped easy as that actually didn't go all the way down here interesting okay uh that's that's really easy just you know clip your stairs nice and smooth to walk over and uh yeah so that's that ladder is it's literally a more rectangle with a special texture ladder texture guys this is this is easy draw your rectangles and boom just texture it amazingly and you got a seek map nearly so what is this right here this is a button and this is a move linear so we click this there we go move a linear and move linears are really easy you just put in your move distance you you find the distance you want you set it to the exact units number of units and then you set it to the direction of your choosing up down you can make it go right or left or you know all different directions i don't maybe you can make it go diagonal no no i don't think so or either way you can it's you can move it all sorts of directions just choose one set the corrected distance and uh, it does it does its thing and then you can add buttons by simply making a funk button then on pressed elevator that is the name of my move linear then open and close and it's at the same time so whatever position it is it will open or it will close yeah pretty pretty easy good um what else this is just a door it may seem more amazing but it is actually just a door set to move down moving on we have more lights um right here this light is toggled with this button on pressed the name of the light cell and then just toggle after whatever time and it will turn it on and off like really really easy um this cylinder is just an advanced shape i'm gonna get the brush tool go down here cylinder nice and easy you uh, just set how many sides you want and uh draw your cylinder and it does it all for you and it stays on the grid and that's super super easy uh so teleports this is a teleport it is a trigger zone triggers are used for a great many things so find your trigger texture let's let's draw out a button here or you know what i mean Control T can make this a trigger. Oh, there it was. I missed it. Oh well. Trigger. Look at all these things. Auto save, bomb reset, change level, hurt, impact. Triggers are made for a lot of things, my friends. But we want trigger teleport. Then all we have to do is set a remote destination, and it will teleport it to whatever we choose. But if we want to make it a little more advanced, I'm going to make this a whoop, funk button. So if I want to make this button activate my teleport over here, let's say that this starts disabled so we don't know it's there. Then we want to also name this to... Um, no, let's name this to JJ. Oh, go over here. So now I do outputs, add, on pressed JJ, enable. 
So this will and it starts disabled. This will enable it for like however long after you press it. Apply, then you add another one. Um, pressed, JJ. This one's going to disable it though, so it'll only work for the certain amount of time that you press the button. So it can activate briefly or in a certain time period after you press the button. It's uh, very useful. And that's basically how you, that's how you would do the e-room teleport, for example. And uh, yeah, all right. But you have to select a remote destination. As you can see over here, we have Rick. If we go, sorry guys, my audio cut out for some reason, but uh, I'll just pick up where we left off. If we look here, Rick, our remote destination, which you must set. And right here we have Rick. Rick, how nice. And uh, yeah, this is our secrets room once again. Wait a second. Hold on, there we go. Uh, this is all of our basic wall secrets. The phase wall is literally just a funk brush with never solid and nothing more. It's, it's really simple. Over here, this is our funk breakable wall. Um, it's like a breakable window, except for you don't put gl glass, unless you want it to be a... Well, that wouldn't be much of a secret, would it? I normally put cinder block, and um, yeah, that's that's just you can do like metal panel if you're doing vents or something. Funk breakable though. We also have our funk door, and it is just a door, and I set it to down, but you can set the direction, and then make sure that you have flags use opens, otherwise it won't open. So that will be pretty pointless. We also have our prop with collisions on not solid prop static and uh, that, that's basically what we got also invisible walkways very simple just draw your rectangle set the texture to invisible and um, yeah that's that's basically it invisible secrets are a lot of fun you know you don't see them and uh, our teleport which teleported us back up here Make sure you put a, at least one cube map on your map, guys. Oh, and then also, I forgot to show you guys this. Light environment. This is your sun. You also need one of these. Um, and then, obviously, you need a skybox all around your map. I'm just pretty lazy, so I just literally make a box. But uh, that, that's basically what you need to know to make a pretty decent seek map with some... Um, uh, a variety of secrets that you can use now so hopefully you found this uh, video helpful uh, and you now know how to you know do some nice basic secret seek map stuff and uh, yeah so I'm on break now guys which means there's more time for videos but also like sub nights or days if you guys want to do something if you want to see the series again or like another episode or something you want to know how to do something uh, let me know as well and uh, we're about to hit 1k as I mentioned at the beginning of the video so crazy I don't know if I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do right now Christmas is coming soon uh, Merry Christmas guys uh, yeah that's, I'm just gonna end the video here guys I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.